recently wrote a little app that might be helpful if you have our Apex 65 access device. If you do, you know that one of the uh, couple things you have to look for are uh, rewinds and singularities when you're programming a 5 axis part and depending on the complexity sometimes it can be a little bit uh, time consuming to try to find the optimum location for your start point to avoid those things so if you ever tried programming for example this part here for the Apex 60 finding that sweet spot for this lead-in can be a little bit of a challenge so if you want to download this app you can go to our uh, Akulu wiki page Akulu wordjet.com and then in the search box up here you can just start typing in iGEMS should show up there at the top click on iGEMS bring it to the iGEMS wiki page and then you can scroll down currently it's 9.3 Apex 60 rewind and singularity check and there's uh, three files you should download the first of which is the scripts and as noted here this would get copied into your shared folder to the app folder and then there's a uh, machine file that goes into the machine folder of the shared folder and then this uh, simplified post processor that this machine uses that goes into the post processor folder and then once you've got those downloaded in iGEMS you would go to your apps tab to add the app click on the uh, settings button depending on the version that you're on this might look a little bit different at this point but same basic idea click down here to add the app so bring it to the app folder double click on that click on open it'll add it to the list you can click down here if you want to choose an icon for that that'll show up here on the toolbar and then once you've got that then you can uh, run this through its paces so this here would be if you just uh, program this part in the 3d 5x using the auto button we'll take it in here just to show you the idea start from scratch here so if we go into our samples and we grab this guy and click on our auto button and set our zero point and create we'll just do a new part and then normally of course we would set our zero point at the top of the part and go in and process it here we've got a rewind so if we want to see if we can avoid that we can go to this app start the app it can specify a rotation angle we'll start with 45 prompt you to pick parts so click on the perimeter of the part and then it'll start rotating it rotates at 45 degrees runs the post processor etc so takes a few seconds per iteration so in this case here at 45 degrees didn't find any good rotation angles to avoid rewinds or singularities makes a little note there so let's try 20 degrees Okay, so there it found 240 as a good rotation. When you click on OK, it will rotate it back to its original position. Puts a little note here as a reminder. So then we can do our rotate command. 
R is the shortcut for rotate. I don't even know if I know where the rotate command actually is. I think I've moved it, but anyways, R is the shortcut. Click on the parts, hit enter, base point, hit enter, and then the angle, 240. Keep original, no. And then set your zero, zero point again. You can click on thickness to pick up thickness. This is actually 787 thick. And then go and process it again. And now you should not get any rewinds or singularities. The other thing that the app does is that it will set the rotation on the part to none so that if you nest this part it won't get rotated on you which could then cause you to get singularities or rewinds so to avoid that we'll, we set the rotation step to none. Also if you press the I key for information or CAD tab information click on the part hit enter in this information box it'll also set the um, good rotations field here to show you so if uh, come back later if that text were gone then you can come in here and see what the uh, good rotations would be so if you have any questions on that let me know thanks